Hello, I'm really excited to jump right into Cashflow with Confidence Part 2. But before we get started, I want to recap Part 1 with you. In Part 1, we talked about your accounts receivable and how they can be a cash flow issue. Then we talked about leaky money and the fact that you need to get a handle on it. And finally, we talked about the fact that you must absolutely know what it costs you to deliver your products and services before you can set your prices. If you haven't had a chance to watch part one yet, I'd like you to pause this video and go watch part one and then come back here and finish up part two. In this video, I'm going to be talking about value-based pricing and value pricing focuses on what the customer believes your product is worth or the value they receive by doing business with you. It also takes into consideration the image that you're trying to create for your business. And it takes into consideration what your customer expects to pay for the quality of goods and services you deliver. And lastly, it takes into consideration feelings. Yep, we as humans are emotion-driven consumers. And perception is everything. Now, before I get too far along, I want to let you know that value pricing may not work for every business. There are some businesses that must compete solely on price if there are a whole lot of other competitors selling the same or very similar products. Getting my pricing right was one of the reasons I was able to increase my revenue by 500% over 18 months. It was a process, but damn well worth it. So I suggest that you give it a try. Here are two things that you can do right now, today, to help you begin to set your value price. The first thing is to do a competitive analysis. You're going to go out and check out how other people are setting their prices for similar work that you do. But beyond prices, I want you to look at how image and price hang out together. When you see a premium price and everything is aligned, how does it make you feel? Do you go, oh my gosh, it would be fabulous to work with that guy. It would be so awesome. On the flip side, when you see somebody charging half of what would normally be charged for that same service, how does that make you feel? Do you immediately get a little suspicious and think that they can't be as good? So all of these things that are going through your head, I just simply want you to jot down on a piece of paper your competitor's name, and that image relationship to price. How did it make you feel? Keep it simple. Don't overdo this one. Just gather those feelings and look at the price range from high to low. Then I want you to take a really good look and say, how do I compare? The second thing that you can do is to begin seeing your business or your products and services through the eyes of your customer. What is the value that they really want? And what is the value that you bring? Maybe you save them time, or maybe you save them money, maybe you make them look good, or you improve their health. What are they willing to pay for the benefits that you provide? I start figuring this out just simply here by grabbing another piece of paper, and I put at the top, as a result of doing business with me, and then I make a long list of the benefits that my clients can receive by working with me. For each of the items, whether it's helping them save time or save money or maybe save reputation, I estimate a value. And yes, all of that does have a monetary value. We know time is money and if somebody can save their reputation and continue forward, that is money saved as well. But the best part, I think the best part of doing that long list is that you can start seeing the true value that you are bringing to your clients and your customers. And then when somebody asks you about your fee structure or your prices, you can express without hesitation the value that you bring because you have seen it and you believe it. To start, Here's how it all comes together. When you know what it costs you to deliver your products and services, and you've done your competitive market research, 
and you understand the value that you bring to your customers, then you are ready to begin setting your prices. And I say begin because pricing is a process. It's something that you will do throughout the life of your business. You will set prices, you will test prices, you will evaluate prices, and you will adjust prices. But to start, here's how you might begin. Let's just say that the cost to produce your product or service is $50. And when you did your competitive market research, you found that the prices of companies that were similar in image, similar in products that were being delivered to you was anywhere from $100 to $300. Well, you're brand new in business and you just don't have all the bells and whistles yet of that $300 company, but you know, you're not cheap either and you don't want to project that image. And you offer equal value to those that are at that average price. So you pick a price, maybe $250, $265 sounds good. I know you might be thinking that this should be some complex mathematical problem. But pricing truly is an art. And as I said in the beginning of this video, it is about feeling and image and expectations, not just a mathematical calculation. Once you have selected your beginning price, then it's time to test it. And the number one test that you're going to be doing is on you. Do you believe in this price? Do you believe in the value that you bring? In relationship to this price? Does the price align with the image that you are trying to project? If you don't believe, perhaps you need to go back to the drawing board because if you don't believe, who will? The second test that you're going to do is to plug your numbers into your cash flow. By doing this, you can see the impact of your pricing decisions on the money coming in and the money going out of your business over a period of time. In Cash Flow with Confidence Part 3, I'm going to be going over a number of scenarios that will help you see this very clearly and learn how to do cash flow for yourself. I got to tell you, I love this stuff. I get to geek out on the numbers. But please, before you watch Cash Flow with Confidence Part 3, be sure you get your homework done. I want you to know how much it costs you to deliver your product or service. I also need you to know about your competition and how their pricing structure is. And then, do you know the value that you bring? Once you know those numbers, then watch Cash Flow with Confidence Part 3. I promise you that this entire process will be damn well worth it. Thank you for spending time with me today. And if you are curious about how to run your business by the numbers, I would like you to watch Determine Decisions by the Numbers with Resolve and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Tuesday. Thank you again for watching and have a good damn day.